Hello. Okay, it's six o'clock. We're doing it. <laughs> so, hope you have an old t-shirt. I'm going to start, let's turn it inside out to start with. Yeah. Wrong side out. Um, get all the seams lined up. I'll show you one way to do it, and then there's another. Well, I can tell you the other way. So you can, if you want to have just like tote bag handles, you can just cut off the sleeves and then cut around the neck. And then that makes, I wish I had another shirt to show you. But, or this is what we're going to make tonight. The handle like this. But you can make, you can cut your shirt into a tank top and then use those for handles. Um, but, okay, so you're going to turn it inside out. Lay it down so all the seams are all matched up. So when you cut it, it's kind of the same. It's not all like sideways. Um, if you have a pencil, you can tie a string on it and put. Can you see? Yeah. So you find the middle and hold the string down and then like draw a half circle shape. I did not do that. I just kind of cut it. And it was a little bit off, so it wasn't like symmetrical. It didn't really work. You're gonna cut it up here, under, up here, and you're gonna cut it on like a arc. Do this. Okay, so that didn't. I'm just gonna cut it, and then I'll show you. Oh, I can't see it. It's super great. You're gonna start um, under the armpit. You're gonna start under the armpit, and you're gonna cut it like this. So this is what you're going to cut off, like this. And you can put it on if you want. That's a funny joke. I'm going to do it. You're going to have this. It's going to be, it's hard to show you. Oh, if I hold it from the bottom. Like this. And so the hem at the bottom is going to be the top of your bag. So that's where the handle's gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna take this off. And just bottom, where we cut it, so it's rounded, you're gonna cut um, strips. So like, just a couple inches, because we're gonna tie it at the bottom. So you're gonna cut that all the way around, like this. Yeah, ready for the beach. Mm. I would like to go to the beach. <laughs> so you cut that all the way around. And then on the edge, like the edge of the shirt, what are we making? We're making a tote bag. Oh, my shirt's ready for the beach? Yeah. <laughs> We're making a tote bag out of an old t-shirt. Um, so we cut the top of the shirt off. And then, like an arc. I was wearing it. And I was ready for the beach. So right under the um, armpits, you're going to cut it like this. And then you're going to cut that part into strips. Got some fringe down here. The bottom of the shirt is going to be the top of the shirt. Top of the bag. Bottom of the shirt is going to be the top of the bag. And then on the edge, like where the seam is, I'm going to cut that and split that so that there's two to tie on the sides. So, I have fringe. And then you can start tying that. I've already I tied some of it on a different one. So these here. Oh, and you start with your shirt inside out because then you're going to... Um, Turn it wrong side out so the ties will be on the inside. And then also, um, if you have a print on it, the print would be upside down because we flip the shirt upside down. Okay, so I'm going to tie. I'm going to finish tying these ones over here. So double knotted these all the way around the strips that I cut. Sorry, I'm like regular. Nothing too fancy. So it'll be like this. You get done. 
And then, in the picture I posted, they cut um, slits in the shirt. So it's like a produce bag. So I'm going to do that. Jack scared me. The cat jumped off the washer and it scared me. And then I just... cut it on the other side, make it a little bit wider, like that, so you're going to handle the fringe, I'm just going to do what I did with that handle, And you don't have to cut slits in it if you don't want to. Um, I was just trying to make it look like the picture that I posted. Um, if you wanted to do it the first way I was talking about, where you just cut the sleeves off and then cut the neck off, um, then you can still just tie it at the bottom like this. Or you could cut the hem off the bottom and like gather it and then tie it like that and then turn it wrong side out. It's probably, this would probably be easier with like a rotary fabric cutter, which I don't have. If you have one of those, that would be uh, good to use for this. On a cutting mat. Okay, I'm turn it right side out. There's a weird flower on the shirt. I don't know, I just found it. I did not put this flower, the flower on the shirt. Let's see a bag. I got some of them. I got some bags. I got some broccoli and some carrots. I need to eat this broccoli. Mm -hmm. You could put anything in it, really. Um, I mean, if you wanted to sew it, the the um, tutorial I found for this actually they sewed the bottom instead of tying it. But if you wanted to sew it and like reinforce the handles, if you got something super heavy in it, so it doesn't rip all the way across, you could do that. Um, Um, if you have some fabric paints, you could paint a design on it if you wanted. Confused, there's a cat outside I'm looking at. Yeah, and so that's uh, how you can make a tote bag. You can just cut off the sleeves and tie the bottom and make a handle. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> make a handle in, in the top or in the bottom. If you cut off the sleeves, you can use that as a handle. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.